are in Vancouver, British Columbia. Here on the city street, you'll meet the man who makes Vancouver grow an inch every day. He's all the people we need to keep our big machine running efficiently. He's proud of the big town, too. In 1954, when professional football was established on the West Coast, Vancouver fans broke attendance records for nearly every home game of the BC Lions Club, played in Canada's largest sports arena, Empire Stadium. Then, in August 1955, the longest forward pass in the history of Canadian football. The modern city moves on wheels, and the cars, trucks, and buses that serve so well for business and pleasure have themselves created a problem that must be solved by every metropolis. Vancouver is no exception. The problem is traffic, congestion, a gigantic slowdown that reduces the pulse of the city. An irritation that affects more than the cars themselves. Jammed up traffic hurts business and reduces property values. The problem in 1950 was to plan a new bridge to replace the old Granville span and take more of the pressure of daily traffic flow. Citizens approved the cost and the exact needs of the future were studied by city engineer John Oliver and his staff, who began the important task of supervising the plans for a completely new and modern bridge. Finally, a model was produced. Here was the bridge to be built with eight lanes for traffic, designed to provide an easy link between downtown and the busy suburban areas to the south, with cloverleaf approaches aimed at keeping traffic on the move. A bridge in keeping with the majestic setting of the city itself. 